Ever notice how yawning is contagious? Scientists believe it's not just because you're tired, but because it fosters a subconscious sense of social connection. Yawning doesn't just happen in humans. Chimpanzees, dogs, and even fish show contagious yawning behavior. It's like nature's way of saying, I'm with you. In fact, research suggests yawning is a primal tool for emotional empathy. You're not just mirroring tiredness, but also bonding on a subconscious level. Scientists tested this by having people watch yawning videos. The longer people spent together before the test, the more likely they were to yawn in response. Teamwork in action. But contrary to popular belief, yawning actually cools the brain down. It's like nature's air conditioner, keeping you sharp during social interactions. New studies show that women may be more susceptible to contagious yawning because they excel at emotional empathy. You could say they yawn the room together. Interestingly, people with higher levels of empathy and trust may yawn more frequently in social situations. It's nature's way of building bridges, not just showing fatigue. Babies don't yawn in response to others until around one year old. By then, they've developed the social skills to mimic the people around them. Some researchers even believe contagious yawning evolved as an early survival mechanism. Yawns spread quickly, but so did vital information about being alert. And here's the kicker. If you suppress a yawn, you subconsciously weaken that social bond. Sometimes it's better to let loose and share in the moment. So the next time you yawn, don't feel like you're being rude. You're actually part of a silent, subconscious dance of connection that's been going on for centuries. And there you have it. Yawning isn't just about sleep. It's about staying connected, keeping cool, and strengthening the bonds that make us human.